Keenan Allen. Um, he is a potential cap cut for the San Diego, ooh, not the San Diego, the Los Angeles Chargers. My fault. I, my apologies. Uh, but he is a potential cap cut at the wide receiver position for the Chargers. And the question today is, should the Baltimore Ravens, if that potential ends up coming to fruition, should they pursue, should they hop on the Keenan Allen train um, if he does become a free agent? I know it's been a big hot topic amongst Ravens fans. I mean, wide receiver always is. There's been a lot of talk about DeAndre Hopkins. There's been some talk about Mike Evans. But now, since this came up, there's been some talk about Keenan Allen. And we are here to talk about it some more. Ain't you no know chance what I mean. Team keep it clean. Y'all know I'm someone who believes people's jobs should be made easier. It should be different strategies put in place to make people's jobs less difficult. And that doesn't just apply to football. That can apply to literally anything. And Skillshare does just that. With traditional jobs, it's not a one-size-fits-all type of thing. Skillshare helps you learn to design a career that fits you. Over the past couple of years, people have certainly dipped into their creative side a lot more. And Skillshare can help you dip into your creative voice and find your style a niche so you can help your creative career take off we often hear so many people say i want to be my own boss but how do you do it what does it take what does it entail well skillshare has so many different freelance tips different ways to start side projects you can find out how to start your own business believe me when i say and talking from personal experience no goal is too small and skillshare is here to help you get started and with it being 2023 you can jump start your goals now with this exclusive offer it's a no-brainer but something else that's also a no-brainer is how to use skillshare so after you signed up, you go to Skillshare.com. Then in the search bar, you search either the creator or what type of classes you were looking for. For me, I mess with Marcus Brownlee heavy because he's super detailed when it comes to all the tech stuff, like how to get uh, your videos that much clearer and brighter and have your colors popping and all that. That's for me. But of course, you can search for what's for you. And the thing with Skillshare's classes is they are very, very detailed. They give you the step-by-step -step process in order. So if you follow along, you'll be good to go. So if you want to take advantage of this opportunity, you can click on the link that's found below in the description box and also at the top of the comment section. Because the first 1,000 people to click on that link, they will receive a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Again, it's just for the first 1,000 people, so move fast. Team Keep It Clean, what's going on? It's Graven here with another video. And in this video, we are here to discuss if the Baltimore Ravens should pursue potential cap cut Keenan Allen if he does end up being released. Now, um, this was an article put out uh, from The Athletic. Uh, and The Athletic, remember when The Athletic first came out a couple years ago? It was like they were like, they were kind of a startup company, but they weren't really a startup company because they brought some heavy hitters on board and they done took to taking off ever since. So shout out to The Athletic. But um, some potential cap cuts that they listed uh, were from the Chargers were Khalil Mack, Keenan Allen, and Gerald Everett. Uh, but with Keenan Allen, obviously the wide, the wide receiver position is one that the Ravens have been lacking at uh, for a while. Um, it is a position of need, uh, and it's a position that they could definitely use some upgrading at. I mean, they said it themselves, right? They were going to rebuild the wide receiver room, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but will Keenan Allen be a good fit? Uh, in my opinion, I think he could be. He would certainly be a big upgrade, like literally because uh, he, he's what six two I, you know what this whole time i thought keenan allen was like six four i really thought he was uh, uh, like significantly taller than six two i know it's just two inches but still i thought he was like six four this whole time i didn't know he was just six two but he plays bigger than what he's actually listed at um and a lot of times somebody's a little bit taller uh their route running may not be as crisp as somebody that's shorter or whatnot but <laughs> nah not with keenan allen <laughs> Now with Keenan Allen, that boy can run some crisp, sharp routes. And somebody else that the Baltimore Ravens got on their team can do the same thing. Rashad Bateman. And with Rashad Bateman and Keenan Allen, if you paired those two, you would have some nice route runners. And with nice route runners, what do they do? Even if they're not the fastest in the world, they can get open. They can get open. And that makes your quarterback's job that much easier. If you have multiple guys on both sides that can both get open, that would be a beautiful thing. And just imagine uh, Keenan Allen on one side and Rashad Bateman on the other side. Then you throw in a speedster. 
a deep threat wide receiver. And Rashad Bateman, we know he got some speed now. So, ain't taking nothing away from him. But if you add another legitimate threat at the wide receiver position, boom, hey, that's a big upgrade right there. So, should the Ravens do it? Well, looking at Keenan Allen, um, one of the things about Keenan Allen that I hear a lot, uh, and, I mean, we see it enough times, too. We, we hear about injuries. But how injured has he truly been uh, over the years well um looking at his history looking at just this year alone he played in 10 games this year obviously it's a 17 game schedule he played in 10 of them um so he missed what seven games that is a significant amount of games uh we know Rashad Bateman he also missed a, a chunk of games this year too um but then let's go back to previous year let, let, let's sort of look at his track record what has been recently last year he played in 16 games uh, that's a good thing. Uh, the year before that, he played in 14 games. The year before that, uh, he played in 16 games. And then in 2018, the year before that, uh, he played in 16 games. And in 2017, he played in 16 games. So it was really um, his, his worst injuries happened in 2015 and 2016, where in 2015, he only played in eight. And in 2016, he only played in one. And then this past year, uh, he, he only ended up playing in 10. But when you look at it, it's so important to look at consistency when you talk about injuries, in my opinion. It's important to see, obviously, what you have done for me lately, but what you have done recently over the past couple of years. So overall, his health has not been a, uh, a big issue. Um, now, what about his impact? What about his impact? What about those numbers that he's been putting up? Well, now we got to use context because Keenan Allen, Chargers, Pass heavy team. That's important to know. Important to realize too. So uh, this year, um, he had 66 catches for 752 yards, four touchdowns. And again, remember, he missed seven games. <laughs> Those numbers are, would that be, that would be our best receiver. That would be the best receiver on the Baltimore Ravens putting up numbers like that. Uh, but then going to the previous year, 2021, uh, he put up 106 catches for over 1,100 yards and six touchdowns. Uh, 2020, he put up 100 catches for 992 yards and eight touchdowns. Uh, 2019, he put up 104 catches for 11 uh, or almost 1,200 yards and six touchdowns. So the production is there. The production is certainly there. And that's important because, again, we talked about consistency. And he's been consistently productive. Again, it is in a pass-heavy offense, which the Baltimore Ravens are certainly not. But still, you, you love to see stuff like that. So, uh, should the Ravens make a move for Keenan Allen if he does come available? I wouldn't be mad at it. He wouldn't be my first choice or even my second choice, but he would not be a bad choice, in my opinion. And, and I mean, he'll, <laughs> he'll be 31. He'll be 31 in about two months. So, he, he's, he's actually a little young for what Ravens prefer, but... He's, he's he's around the age range, so that's that that's cool. But again, um, maybe maybe he's aging like fine wine. So hopefully that will end up being the case. But now, if if and a big if if they did pursue Keenan Allen, and that would be a very Ravens type of move, going after Keenan Allen, DeAndre Hopkins, it would not be. Mike Evans, it would not be. And those would be my my top choices: Mike Evans and DeAndre Hopkins. Um, but like them going after a big name wide receiver via trade? No, I don't see it happening. Um, but with Keenan Allen, um, older receiver, free agent, possible pending potential free agent wide receiver, um, somebody again a little older or whatnot. I know DeAndre Hopkins; he's starting to get up there too. Um, but he'll be a cap cut. Keenan Allen will be a cap cut. So th this would allow them more leeway when it came to negotiating a contract because they could negotiate something that they were comfortable with. This is why, yeah, we all talk about the DeAndre Hopkins and the Mike Evans and stuff like that, but Ravens would have to acquire those guys via trade. So they would have to give up draft capital, which they'd hardly have any right now, and then they would have to do some restructuring with their contracts and whatnot. So I feel like that's just a headache that the Ravens would not want to get into. At this point, I mean, because they, they already got enough stuff, other stuff that they got to deal with, right? Um, but with this, that's why I feel like with Alan Lazard, that'd be a very Raven-esque type 
move uh, a DJ Shark, depending on what happens with him, that would be another one. But this, like, and not that they counting on any comp picks right now, because Ravens are not. I don't think so. That I mean, maybe Marcus Peters could maybe get them a comp pick, but I don't see him commanding anything crazy on the open market if Ravens don't bring him back. But any other pending free agents that could command them a comp pick, I can't think of nobody off the top of my head. Um, but so if if they were to sign like somebody who's a pending free agent, this free agency, uh, and they were sign they were to sign them to a deal big enough that could warrant the other team a comp pick and cancel out one of theirs, like. They're not gonna have any to cancel out anyway. So, anyway, um, yeah. If if they if they could get a Keenan Allen, I would be on board with it. He wouldn't be my first option, um, but I would still be cool with it. But he wouldn't be able to be the only option. So the same way I felt about now, it's much different though. It's the same, but it's different. Sammy Watkins injury history, yikes. Um, Keenan Allen injury history, ah, uh, yeah, he got some injuries here and there, but. Um, the same way that I felt about both of them If the Ravens were to bring them in I'm cool with it But that can't be it That can't be enough And that can't be all that you do uh, At the wide receiver position So the more the merrier But we'll see what happens uh, And we'll see if he even gets cut Because sometimes these things End up working themselves out To where the player They end up restructuring They end up getting cut Then being brought back Some ends up happening like that It, it happens a lot So this is just Potentially But Team Keep It Clean My love for y'all Is not potential It is real It's there And I appreciate y'all We are Out Yeah this feels like a dream And you know just what I mean You see my boy He like gotta made it How to made it Boy he's a fan And he like the Ravens Like the Ravens And you know just what I mean You two Team Keep It Clean Shout out to Graven.